Let's go to Bass Pro Shop in Grapevine, Texas and see what's happened. So here we see a Winchester 556 for $14 a box. That is highway robbery. Uh, see some silver tip for 22 LR, not a $10 box. That's pretty much a MSRP price. See here's some CCI, 300 round for $31 a box. No thank you. And of course the expensive Winchester, $100 box for 125 rounds. No way, Jose's. Now, uh, I like this $8.99 $8 box for herders. Have to grab a couple of these. See some Hornady? That's like $50 a box. Pretty much MSRP. Federal, it used to be like $11 a box, but now, you know, crazy price. Winchester, 150 Rand for $100. That used to be, uh, I think, $70 at most. That's a price gouging right there. The match, Winchester match, $28 a box, and the other match, uh, $35 a box, just the difference between the grain inch 64 grain and you have a 69 grain 69 baby also the other 55 grains it's a little bit cheaper but whatever too expensive it's supposed to be maybe $20 now this stuff right here is supposed to be like 7 or 8 bucks at Academy at 2019 but look at the price man this, this is clearly price gouging $100 uh, seventy-five dollar for a hundred round of Federal American Eagle. This this should be less than fifty bucks. Wolf. Now I'm not uh, familiar with Wolf, but I would imagine this around maybe seven bucks. Tula, yeah, Tula. Supposed to be like eight dollars, twelve dollar here at Bass Pro. No, thank you. 224 Valkyrie. Uh, the last time I bought it, it was $15 at, at Academy. Bass Pro won $18. They can go pound sand. Check a look at this. 6mm for $53. Insane in the membrane. 6 hour, 308. Decent quality ammo. $45. Uh, no thank you. 6.8, no price right there. 308, black, decent ammo, not a decent price. 35 bucks. So, Whitetail Hornady, Whitetail, $30. Have no idea about those stuff. Uh, Herders, 350 Legends. Winchester, 350 Legend, $16. Some more Herders, 762 by 54R. Now, the Herders, I think, is. Uh, Quality ammo, but the price is not quality price. That's just price gouging. Some 308 Federal Premium. Fifty dollars a box. How many boxes do you want? Zero. Zero. Hunter Precision Hunter, forty-five dollar. Winchester one hundred sixty-five grain, forty-three dollar. That's horny. Not Winchester. What am I talking about? Subsonic. Don't shoot this round, so don't care. 450 Bushmaster. Is that a good price? I don't know. I'd have to say no. Based on uh, everything else. 762 by 54R. The only affordable 762 by 54R here. And everything else is just overpriced. Now this Winchester box right here at Walmart for like $19 at Walmart. But Bass Pro, $125. Come on now, Bass Pro. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. That's clearly price gouging. 9 millimeter Luger, 115 grain. Barney's. Barney's. You know, I wouldn't care for this brand like a couple of years ago. I wouldn't care. But uh, right now, the smaller brand is showing up on the shelf. 
that's a good sign, right? Have a critical defense right there. Overprice. Barney's $22 for a box of 20. Uh, get a spirit gold dot at uh, bonefroggunclub.com. I think that, that was a website, bonefroggunclub.com. They sell for less than a dollar around for a spirit gold dot. It's way better than the Barney's and Ted Tubby round. Now, here we have some uh, NATO 9mm Luger. Overpriced, 28 bucks. I wouldn't buy it for 15. From Barney's 40 Smith and Western, here we have some 38 special. It's been kind of rare to see this on the shelf, but at $30 a box, uh, they can keep it. They can keep it. Maybe a $20 box, but $30, uh, they can keep it. Here's some 40 Smith & Western Federal, 28 bucks. They can keep that too. American Eagle, they can definitely keep that at 38 bucks. $40 for this uh, lead-free ammunition from Federal. I guess, I mean, if you want a good health uh, at $40, no thank you, I'll, I'll get the cancer. Now, uh, this box is supposed to be like, I don't know, $20, $24 at most. $53 at Bass Pro. Yeah, this I used to buy that like all the time at uh, Walmart for like $20, $22. There's some uh, more 40 Smith & Wesson laser, $25. Nah, everything just seems so insane. Ammo ink, more ammo ink, 45 Auto, $35 a box of 50. And here you can see they have 45 for days. But the price, 300 round for $220. That's a no-go. But they have 45 for days like everywhere now. Best Pro is puking 45 everywhere. The entire shelf is four, four of 45. Thirty-eight special again. Uh, Three hundred round for two hundred twenty dollar. That's not a good deal, guys. Don't don't buy any of these. Maybe uh, that twenty-two herders, but everything else just way overpriced. Some three hundred eight win one uh, k one k round. Let's go here and see some uh, shotgun ammo. I don't know. I'm, I'm not like a shotgun expert. I do have a shotgun, but uh, I could imagine this is not the good price to uh, get it at. So again, unless your life is dependent on it, don't get any of this ammo. It's very overpriced. Majority of it, anyway. This should be... This should be a good price, uh, I think. Yeah, around like 15 to $18. Double a buck should be a good price. Now, yeah, I, I wish that was like eight bucks. I would grab all of it, but it's in the wrong shelf. Now we have a double a buck from Winchester. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's a, about the same price as uh, 2019. So that's that's an okay price, actually. But the bird shot, the bird shot, and everything else is just a dollar or two higher. But yeah, the, the price of a 12 gauge and a shotgun over is just better than other caliber right now. If you look for a 9 or whatever, you're going to pay an arm and a leg for it. Now we're going to go to the uh, reload section. We have a whole bunch of reload equipment here. Shell casing, whatever. I, I don't reload, so I don't know the name of the stuff. Just have some cleaning solvent and some tumbler media. Some, uh, yeah, reload stuff. If you're into reload. Now, I see a lot of ammo back and stuff right now. A lot of bullet. 30 cal, as you can see there. 7 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 9 mil, 22 cal. Good for 2, 2, 3, 5, 5, 6. 17 cal, spec. 
some 9mm XTP Hornady right there. Pretty cool. But the price, so that's uh, insane for for that kind of price. 38 cal, 9mm. Sick. Check that out. Uh, and that's the first time I see a uh, Sierra bullet from 6 hour. But the price, the price. See the price? 100 bullet for $120. Just a bullet. Doesn't include the case. Powder, primer, and all the equipment that you're gonna use doesn't include any of that. So yeah, think about that the next time you buy all this reload. It's actually more expensive than just buy the ammo alone. Now we have a whole bunch of die. It's back in stock. 45, 300 Win Mag, 204 Ruger, 65 Creed more, 44 Special. We see some uh, 223 also. Uh, six millimeter arc. 45 70 government 10 millimeter right there there you go that's my favorite caliber lapua I, i'm not sure what this is is that die case okay it's brass casing it's brass casing mm, here's some more bullet very jacketed 223 Some Ford Smith & Wesson bullet. I mean the reload bullet is just so expensive, might as well just get the actual ammo itself. But not that Bass Pro. They price couch everything now. Let's go see some gun. Walking, walking. And then there's a whole bunch of people at the counter. So I didn't get a lot of footage, just a couple of guns. Uh, the price... Uh, it could be better. It could be better. This price is uh, that's still fifty to a hundred dollar premium over the MSRP uh, on most of the gun. See some Kenick right there. Some Mossberg, uh, Taurus TX, no Taurus G3. Yeah, it should be like fifty dollar less or so on uh, the G3 model. So online, I see a Taurus for G3 for like $250 floating around. Yeah, so just be patient with my gun here. We're back to the ammo aisle. I see a whole bunch of 223 ammo case for 700 bucks. Do not buy this. Just leave it there. Same goes for the 400 rounds for 556. $320. Do not buy it unless your life is dependent on it. But right now, uh, it's just uh, clearly price gouging. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's go to uh, Academy Sport in Arlington, Texas. Let's just see some pistol here. They don't have a whole lot because this location is really hot. People just pretty much buy everything out by the end of the week. So not a lot of pistol in there. Here I see some uh, 36 P365XL. NRA edition, I like it, but I don't want to associate anything with the NRA these days. Go GOA. Some clocks in stock. But not much, not a lot. You can see that it's like empty out. The entire shelf. Now we go to the ammo section. There's like a whole bunch of people just hanging around, just standing there. Stare at the ammo for like 10 minutes. They have no idea what they're going to want. Because everything is so overpriced. You see that 40 Smith & Wesson Critical Duty, $33. Same comes for 9 mil. Everything else is just uh, overpriced at Academy at the moment. Uh, yep, here's CCI shot shell, nobody want. CS. Now here's some Stinger, $10. Pretty much uh, MSRP price. Uh, they're, they're okay, but uh, some 22 doesn't like that. Uh, CC I quiet. I actually want some more, but I'm not really sure. I want any more quiet because I still have like a couple of cases left. 22 LR subsonic for $12. That should be okay. Maybe $10. Here we go. Here's some uh, milk jug from CCI. Blazer that's way overpriced for 200 round. They want $33 for that. Cannabis new. Look at this. They can too. Can we want what $130 for a 200 round of 556 Winchester? No, not gonna happen. I couldn't film anything else because people were hanging out in the ammo section and just stand there for the longest time. 
So that's all you get. Okay, so you have seen my video of Bass Pro Shop in Grapevine, Texas, as well as Academy, Arlington, and uh, most of the time right now, uh, the Academy, they don't put the price out. I don't know why, because, you know, they, they're constantly raising the price instead of uh, lowering them. So I guess they just uh, tired of putting out the price. But uh, I scanned a few things and just... Just don't buy any other stuff. Those, those are way too expensive. I couldn't get anything from Academy this month. Uh, no, exactly. I I got like uh, yeah, that uh, nine mil aluminum stuff. So that, that that's the only thing I got in the entire month. Pretty disappointing of Academy right now. Uh, usually they got the best price. Like during 2020, during uh, all this stuff is happening. So at the time they got great price. Right now, for some reason, the ammo is back, but they constantly raising the price, or the price just remain high. It's not even com coming down right now. Uh, same goes for Bass Pro. You know, it used to like maybe came out at Bass Pro or Academy. Right now, uh, nobody care anymore. I don't care to come out on those places anymore because they raise the price too high. And there's no way I'm paying those uh, kind of insane price. They're asking like way, way too much for um, two, two, three, five, five, six, which um, I kind of need a little bit more, a couple of, um, thousand rounds because I am testing a whole bunch of uh, magazine right now. So yesterday I had this uh, ship to my house. Do you know that Wilson Combat makes some AR-15 magazine? So here it is, pretty nice, right? Wilson Combat Magazine. Does it flex? No, it doesn't flex. Good sign. Kind of slick though. Kind of slick compared to Macpool and some other magazine, but uh, pretty good, pretty decent. The base plate is pretty beefy as well. But you know, I, I like I said, I have to do some tests on all my uh, magazine that I acquired in 2020 until this year. And so far I have um, a lot of data on the magazine already, but uh, I haven't uh, completely tested out everything yet, so stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be a, a while because ammo price right now are insane, and uh, you know how it is uh, it's testing magazine and stuff with uh, live ammo. Uh, it's, it's gonna take a while. Uh, I want it to be uh, a good, honest video, not some uh, just a half assed video testing out magazine. So, yeah, you guys gonna have to wait a while for the magazine review. The massive magazine review. Also have this shipped to me. Now this is a Black Dog Gen 2. So those of you who have a uh, 22 long rifle AR-15 upper from CMMG, now you can use this uh, magazine on it. Now this is Gen 2. I have the Gen 2 or Gen 3. I, I forgot. So I have the, the early uh, Black Dog magazine. It's like transparent. So this is 32 round. So the the early magazine they have like 25 round max, but this is 32 round. So pretty cool. I'm gonna have to uh, also test this out on my uh, CMG 22 upper. So they have this little tab, assist tab. I like it. But uh, I don't know how I feel about the uh, you know the large opening here where dust and stuff can go in. But you can clean it out, not too easy, but you can clean it out. Anti-tilt, of course. Let's see how reliable this is. So yeah, uh, how much this is? I forgot. Uh, Wilson Combat Magazine, great. And as you can see, uh, at Bass Pro, I got four herders. Now this is just a rebrand Winchester, I believe. I could be wrong. I mean. Down in the comment section, is this a rebrand of Winchester? Great, I don't have my knife here, but I do have a random scissor laying around. Let's cut this out and let you guys see the ammunition, Hurtis ammunition. This is Bass Pro and Cabela's exclusive brand, but they didn't actually make them. So yeah, Let's see the ammo. 
they're more reliable than uh, the Winchester bolt pack because you know th this is not like just stone in there so it should be more reliable although it's kind of dirty as you can see these herders 22 herders it used to be really clean I mean it look really clean right now it's pretty dirty I mean the uh, QC has gone down the drain over the past year as I can see on uh, on the ammo and if you stay with me on my channel you you guys see the QC on the ammo start to drop like I do show ammo and uh, what what it looked like not just uh, what I got so that $8.99 pretty decent price although you know if you buy bulk pack like federal bulk pack uh, I recommend it over Winchester is a little bit better more reliable so I also got this Nosler mash gray 223 grain HBBT haven't looked inside yet so here it is Nosler how much is this I'll put down in the annotation I got this from mm, where do I get this primary arms yes uh no I think I got this from uh Palmetto State Armory yeah Palmetto State Armory uh, not the best price but you know this is mesh gray stuff so uh, if you can't touch this you can't touch this but I am testing grouping on my a uh, couple of my AR right now so I, I need some mesh gray stuff now I never had Nosler as 2 to 3 in my collection before so that's why I got a box just to try it out it's hollow point Nosler label uh, the casing is not the best it's not the cleanest but uh, like I said you know the uh, QC has gone down the drain with uh, the ammunition because they're trying to rush it out during this crazy time now here is a PPU mesh line ammunition mesh gray ammunition again I'll put down on the annotation how much it costs Palmetto State Army. Okay, now this box. What is going on here? Why is it so hard to open? Okay, they make they purposely make this box hard, hard to open. Okay, blue. PPU bash line, 69 grain. What's the feet per second? Hold on. I don't see any feet per second label anywhere. Nope, doesn't label anywhere. So uh, it's up to you and me to guess. Hollow point. It's pretty rough. The casing is pretty rough. So I think the best casing so far from any manufacturer, I think it's um, Hornady. They uh, pre have pretty good uh, QC quality. But uh, still, you know, like they're all going down the drain this past year. So PPU, hollow point, BT, boat tail, something like that. Horny mesh, okay. feet per second, 27.90. Not, not too fast, but you know. Uh, 223 stuff is more accurate than 556, but it doesn't have the energy uh, like the 556 does. So here it is uh, polymer tip. See the casing? A little bit better than uh, what you see, Nosler. So Hornady, they make their own casing. They pretty much make everything, you know. They they got a whole factory making bullets. So they can afford to do their own QC and stuff. Uh, always nice to see Hornady. Again, 73 grain. It's just so many different type of uh, Two to three, five, five, six out there. That I don't think I'm gonna be able to test everything out there, but I tried. 
so yeah that's uh that's all the ammo and magazine uh one more thing that i got this week bam sick sour tango 6t crazy this thing is beautiful so i went to texas shooting experience or something like that uh, i don't go there often and I see the scope on display. So they're asking 10, 22 for it. I'm like, hell yeah. Because everybody online is asking for at least uh, $1,100 to $1,400 for the same scope, same model and everything. So yeah, this is uh, uh, what the military uses. Well, not the exact scope. Uh, the only difference between this and the military is that uh, the the labeling. That's the only different about this and the military. Or maybe there's something internal that's different that the uh, SIG is not telling us. But so far, that's all I know. The only different is the labeling. So made, assemble in USA. Now here's the thing. I I see training. Uh, look like these days everybody's trying to be like Apple. Assemble in, uh, assemble in California, something like that. They do not tell you where's made in. So uh, you have to take a wild guess where all these parts are made in. Is it China? Is it Philippines? Now the Philippines made some pretty decent scope. They do make, made some uh, scope for Trigon and some other manufacturer, but uh, yeah, the, the Philippines made some pretty decent scope uh, or Japan which I hope this scope is for Japan. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Not sure, not sure. Uh, you can't see that. Okay, camera's crapping out. But um, the eye relief of this thing is insane compared to my Strike Eagle. It's like very far compared to my uh, Strike Eagle. And compare this to my Trigigon ACOG, uh, I have a regret right now uh, buying Trigigon ACOG. Uh, I prefer this over the ACOG, to be honest. 1 to 6X is it's, it's great, you know. It's, it's a little bit heavier than the ACOG, but you know what? This is made for the mid military. That's why they beef everything up and all the, uh, the dial and everything is just kind of beef up and very grippy. So uh, you're not gonna slip away. Now I have tried the uh, Vortec uh, HD Gen 2 and it's kind of similar to this, but uh, it costs a little bit more, weighs just a little bit less. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is uh, that the knobs on the Vortec HD Gen 2 is like really difficult to uh, maneuver. Now SIG also include the um, the uh, throw lever for this uh, I haven't installed yet so I'm gonna do a review on this scope I don't know when uh, that video can go up but it, I definitely can do a review on this so what else now the last thing I'm kind of excited for is BAM backup chip have you ever seen salted egg salmon skin yep. Backup chips, guys. I'm reviewing backup chips. I'm desperate right now. So let's let's try it. It's my first time. Kind of excited. Kind of salmon skin. How do you feel about eating fish skin? That's salmon fish skin. Let's try it and see how that tastes like. Mmm, wow. Very crunchy. It's not very salted, so that's good. Yeah, you definitely taste the salmon. Definitely taste the skin. Pretty unique. But do you, you feel the crispiness and the uh, stuff in there? All the ingredients they put in there so wow it's actually pretty uh, pretty nice pretty yummy 
So I got this in uh, Ranch Market, 99, 99 cents Ranch Market or something like that. It's in uh, Carrollton, Texas. So near H Mart. Yeah, I don't know where else you can get this. At. My first time, so it's the first time for everything. Pretty good. So there you have it. Stay tuned for the next video. I don't know when it's gonna be up. I don't know what's gonna be. Hopefully it's my uh, polymer 80 bill, which I'm kind of finished right now. I, I mean, I got all the parts already, but recently I just saw some uh, parts uh, in stock again. So I, I wanna get that instead of what I already got to finish my polymer 80 Glock 19 build. But I have it milled out, painted and everything. So yeah, just waiting for a part. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Signing out.